Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Enderol. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today after a night with uh, Lishari. Uh, we were basically having a chat and drinking, and she was telling us about her yes. brother. Sir. Yes? Yes, indeed. Uh, and there's a lectern over here, or what looks like a podium or, of sorts. And uh, where exactly are we? We are... Uh, what, what, the, what? I need, to, what? So we're, where are we? We're over here. Noble's quarters. Ah, I see. Okay, well, we need to go to the marketplace. There's a few things that we need to do in the marketplace, so let's go to the marketplace and not explore the noble's quarters for the moment because it's nighttime. I can barely see a thing. And yeah, we've, we've been up there and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, we need we have quests to do and I'm gonna focus on doing quests before we go and have uh, the training that we need to have uh, to join the order uh, so yeah marketplace you guys know this place already I don't actually know if, if there's if the the pointers actually are correct uh, but it's looking like they might be so hopefully they will let's see what we have over in here uh, we have South quarter we have uh, golden sickle house search gold for silverman is sort of good to find for things which could belong to Meogar Ironford. Now that, that is an interesting thing. How, what was that one for? So, let's see. I, I forgot the uh, the quest. There it is. The locksmith Meogar Ironford seems to be burdened with something. While taking, wh while talking with him, he mentioned that a certain golfer has proven that uh, money is all that counts for him in the end. Perhaps I should investigate what his, uh, what this monger did. So I learned the reason for Meogar Ironford's bad temper you know, I need to search gold for... Yeah, that's that was one of those weird quests, I think, that was added sort of uh, dynamically or something. Uh, no, huh? I need to go into his house, I would say. Cause can I help you? Can you? No, you can't. I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's not as if I didn't tell them that already. Mm, I'm not sure what you're talking about, miss. Uh, also, I'm not sure where I need to go. Over here, maybe? Yeah, we've been here before. Oh, no. No, it's locked, <clears throat> and of course I can't rest and wait. We have a smelter over here. Let's see what I can do here. Nothing, of course, because I don't have my things. Uh, so I need to find a place to sleep. No, I don't. Greetings. Hi, to you as well. I don't need to find a place to sleep. You know what? Because I can go to the main gates and wait outside. Isn't that lovely? Yes, I don't need to sleep. Sleep is not a mechanic in this game, is it? Do I get, like, well-rested buffs? I might. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the outside world save times. Although not as much as the temple quarter. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What am I talking about? About I am wrong? I am wrong? I can't wait. I forgot. Why? Is, what is, oh, it's a pig. Okay, well, we might be able to find a place to sleep out here. Yes. Right? Hi, can I? No. Oh, no, this is the... Oh, that's a different area. Yeah, I'm gonna find a place. Walk blessed. You as well. Uh, in that place. Actually, we might have things out here. We probably do. Uh, let's uh, remove this. And we have one search to camp. Oh, for search for the camp on the island in Arks Lake. Let's let's go and do that. It's gonna be a little bit. Oh, boy! Don't tell me there's a no. Nope. It's gonna be a little bit. Uh, a little bit uh, hard to see because it's nighttime. I could and should do this. We have a few sacks over here. Uh, some gold in this one, unless I misread that. Was that coal? That was coal, wasn't it? There it is. Okay. Pennies. Okay. Shira. Coal. That was coal. Dang it. Should should have known. It's in Drillion Pennies. Oh. Is that, uh... Can I take you guys? Oh, that's fish. Don't like fish. Okay. Save the game just in case. Because we might be coming upon wolves. And actually equip that and equip... Uh... I should probably make this as number four. And then... Life absorption on both hands. Here. Or just the right hand. It doesn't matter. That's a cow, right? I think so. <coughs> Crap! <laughs> now that was scary because I heard him before, 
and I <laughs> yeah that's that's uh, <laughs> I think that's how you do jump scares properly you need to get you know, like you need to catch it's, it's a such a tricky balance you need to catch the player una uh, unaware but also have him paying attention ha have him be paying attention to what exactly is going on so that's just, that's just a tricky thing to happen and then uh, that happens to me in this game and in other games as well uh, because uh, of course Ooh, Quicksilver! Lovely! Just don't... It's poisonous. It's gonna... It's, it murders your brain. It's just... It's bad. And... No. Another one? No. Listen, Gothic is like every two hits. They're slower, though. But every two hits... Ooh, we got a bed to sleep on. I, I shall. For one hour. Should be good. And we have a letter. Can I please read what the letter says? It's gonna tell me. Moron! Well, I'm gonna take that. Well, I'm not the one jumping and using a sword, so I'm not the moron here. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay. There's multiple of them. I can't see them. Come on. The arrows don't actually work quite as... Quite as well as I would hope. In the face! That's what you get. And I slept over here. Oh, lockpicks, I love those. Uh, S slept in there and they didn't attack me while I was sleeping. Yeah, that's that's why scripted events. Uh, also, I don't need this. That's why you shouldn't do scripted events. I I, I get that it's way easier, but it, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. Uh, leather shoes? Do I need those? No, I don't need any of you. Well, so what exactly happened there? Did it? Hmm. Did it, was it just a matter of of being attacked? Because somebody must have sent me over here and I forgot about that. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. M that that could have been interesting because that was obviously a trap. Uh, but I'll still, I'll still keep the letter as a memento. Now, where are we going? Uh, let's remove you from here and we have uh, the rock shelter over there. Now, that sounds like a good plan. You know? Oh, no, don't do that. WSD is how you do. And then we have over here, Pyrian artifact in old Dolesh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's things over there. Search old Mish... Mishkamur for a Pyrian artifact. Pretty cool. It's got, like, the thing... Oh, the... The asterisks uh, on front, or the stars, or whatever. Those are... Those are the difficulty of the class. Oh, of the quest. Of course, you know. Nothing is ever too difficult for me. Apart from those guys that attacked me, they were kind of nasty because I couldn't see them. Uh, and also because it, I usually, it's usually the other way around. I'm the one doing the ambushing, not them. Hi. 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 Please don't do this. There's another one over there. Thank you. Oh, although... It wasn't very good. And down you go. Is that all? I think it is. Okay. Let's go into the peach shelter. This is not the place that we that I wanted to go to uh, because of the quest, but it's it's still. Oh. You know what? You can't cast that. I'm just misclicking, by the way. Where's the other one? There it is. Having a hard time targeting you. Now I don't have a hard time. Okay. Salmon. I don't want to pick it up. You can stay there, Mr. Salmon. I just killed crabs. Apparently, we have a chest in here with 25 Andrillion coins. That's not too bad. It's 
not too bad at all. And I should have that, like that. Yeah. So if I do... Huh. Like, if I do this... Hmm. Not really sure. Don't have enough money. Okay, that's fine. Spooky. Spooky, huh? Can't see anything. Keep it like this. Actually, I'll keep it like this. Tiny little knife. Silver ore, I'll take it. Yeah, never mind that I was trying to be silent. What have I just dropped? You heard that sound? Sound like I dropped something. Okay. It's actually tricky to see the silver ore because it just shines uh, shines yellow. Which, realistically speaking, wouldn't be the case. Or wouldn't uh, wouldn't be the case that it's hard to see. Because it, it shines like crazy. I, th I imagine. I, I'm not really sure uh, what silver looks like in its ore state. I think we might be approaching somebody. Also, let me make sure we have not been in here, and we have not. Hi, man. Huh? I was right. That was not good, but I think we'll, we're sneaky, still. There it is. Fuck that piece of <sighs> shit! <sighs> you would pay for that. What are you doing? <sighs> Why are you attacking backwards? <sighs> you idiot, don't do that! <sighs> also, don't telegraph! These guys fight like... People who don't know how to fight. Okay. Ooh, and we leveled up. My favorite. Uh, okay, I want stamina, actually. I want a lot of stamina. Now that I know that uh, the um, that uh, right-clicking or holding right-click on a, on a bow actually slows down time, uh, I really want that. I want that a lot. So I'll, I'll stick with that. I'll stick with stamina from now on forever until the end of time. Because that, that actually changes a little bit of things. It, it doesn't make it... All that easy to... Uh, can I take all these apples? No. All that easy to fight. But it's still a nice bonus. You lady, you are... Oh my god. Roasted salmon, though. I mean, I would have... I do enjoy some roasted salmon. It's not... I wouldn't have died for it, but she didn't either. Uh, scroll of Arcane Rune, cheap. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's like, cheap. <laughs> uh, boy, it, even, it shouldn't even be cheap, really. It should be crap. Because it doesn't matter how expensive it was, if it's crap, it's still crap. So it could be it could be cheap and amazing, or crap and expensive, or uh, any combination. It's basically four combinations when it's two, because it's two squared. Actually, it's not two squared. It's two to the power of two. Because if it were three, it'd be three to the power of three. The combinations. I mean, unless I'm severely mistaken. Ooh, nice steel arrows. Okay. What arrow? Oh, old iron arrows. The one that. I the ones that I have. Fun fact, you probably don't want to make arrows out of steel. Um, you don't really need arrows to hold a bl uh, an edge. Uh, piercing arrows might be different, though, now that I think about it. I did not study that, so I can't say anything. Um, but yeah, I don't know about steel arrows. Can I, I suppose, make some stuff? I, do, I should have some salt with me. Roasted beef and tomato soup. I'll get that. Uh, and I guess I'll make the tomato soup. Many tomato soups. Lovely. Um, and it gives me experience, which is also pretty awesome. But yeah, you don't you don't want arrows to hold an edge. Unless, well, I suppose... If they are hunting arrows, I suppose you might want to have steel arrows. But uh, otherwise, it just normal iron it does the trick, really. Just, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Because, yeah, it's it's okay. It's all good. Because, really, iron, steel is just iron, right? 
just adds a little bit of carbon, so it resists the uh, oxidation a little bit better. Also, it has other properties. It's not just that. There's actually multiple types of... Uh, we have not been everywhere, have we? We have been everywhere. Nice. There's other properties, of course. The, the weights and uh, many things. Many different things. Ooh, and colors. Ooh, I don't need iron ore. No! No! Uh, and yeah, by the way, uh, last... Uh, it wasn't. I think I mentioned the color of iron ore. Uh, I don't know what, how it looks in this game. Let's find out. But in Elex, which is a, a game that I'm playing currently on the channel, uh, let's see. Let's see. Iron ore. I just want to see what it looks like. Iron ore, right there. Can I? There it is. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. There it is. That's iron ore. Uh, th th I suppose you could have this. I'm pretty sure. I've seen pictures of uh, of iron ore that have some grayish areas, but they would generally be either flat out brown or red. But red is as in a very rusty, uh, very rusty um, tinge. Never, never really red, red. And in in Elex, uh, iron veins are actually red. They're like they look like redstone in Minecraft, or just they're very, very red, uh, which is really weird. And I was like, well, I mean, that's nice, but. That's not how it goes. And we have just found the pit shelter. And the game just auto-saved, which is fantastic. And I hope I didn't find any beer layer or anything like that. Oh, yeah. I know. I mean, I'm, uh, it's, it's fine. Uh, we need to go west. This is a very beautiful place, though. Extremely beautiful place. There's things up there. Uh, let's look around and just have fun. Um, but, yeah, it, I looked it up. Uh, and, yeah, iron veins, basically, they, they it's very hard to detect. The, just like like we do in in this game, but they are reddish because it's all rusted. Because that's what happens to iron; it oxidizes, and it turns to rust, which is uh, iron peroxide. Is it? No. Is it? No. This. I know that's a name. I'm not really sure. But there's like technical names for everything, like salt. What is salt? There's a name for that as well. Chlor chloric sodium or something. I'm pretty sure it's like a mixture of those two. Yeah, it's or or, or, or what's, uh, what's baking soda? It, it's another thing as well. Or what's uh, there's another one as well for, that is used in the kitchen uh, that has a weird name. This is not a Myra Tower. This is Cliff Watch. I don't like how when we find things, the game has this sort of trumpet sound in in uh, in the thing. And it kind of makes me think that we're about to be attacked. Which eh, probably is meant to be like that. Because we're about to be attacked. <laughs> now look at that. A lonesome traveler. <laughs> oh, bam. Some fun. No. In the butt. In the butt. Just so you talk a little bit louder when you taunt me next time. Yeah, they do it on purpose. These bandits, they do it on purpose. They know. They know. Hmm. Account of what? Of an unknown traveler. Volume 1. I think that one I have. I'll take it now, though. Uh, and I'll look into things. We got stew in here. So good stuff in here, all things considered. Yeah, but they, they do it on purpose, because that's a strategy to unnerve people. It's to talk quietly. And uh, there's another strategy as well that is related to the quietness of your voice. Uh, it's, 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 it's an intimidation tactic. Hi, mister! Hi! No, I definitely don't want to attack. No, no, I'm fine. I'm, gonna, I'm a good person. Hi! You just have a horse with a... What is this? I know. I should know this thing. Hi! Greetings! Uh, any news? Well, I take it you know of Grandmaster Aranthiel's return already. Yes. Word has it he spent half an eternity in prison in your country. Indeed. But let me tell you, that man hasn't lost an inch of his resolve. Thank you. That's admirable. Really. Admirable, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is admirable but admirable I suppose you admire things and I suppose it might be the case as well who am I to tell I don't know if he's a native speaker these days voice actors yeah they can be from any nationality Kyrian Neremese or I'm, I, I might be saying Neremese in a different in a, in a wrong manner by the way um, and uh, we have a fast travel area no we don't actually this is not this is not the one the ones that we have are solely in um, in in arcs, the the little posts that we have there. Okay, moving on. Quite a very 
ominous little place. We've been over here. Uh, well, we've been to the place where we're going anyway, but... Hi. Mr. B. I'll get you. Can I? Off they go. As long as there's no bears, I'll be okay. Huh. Yeah, this is the Myra Tower. Hi, guys. I've been here. Hi. How's it going? Good morning, my dame. The two as well. Luck blessed. Indeed, indeed. Look at that. Hi, how's it going? Uh, you're not scary at all. Those things. <laughs> I. Just, oh, anyway, I'm I'm lost here. Um, I need to go south, severely south, like very very south. Let's sprint directly south and see how. Hello, Mr. B. I'll take you. I'll take you as well. Uh, very south and see if we can arrive at that destination in record time. We probably can't. I mean. What does it actually mean to arrive in record time? Faster than anybody else in a game where nobody actually goes from place to place? Apart from those that do, actually. <sighs> okay, there we go. I'm, I am very glad that... Uh, I don't like how the soundtrack stopped there for a moment. I thought uh, maybe I was going to be attacked. I am going to kill you. You Mr. Full-Grown Rat. Who do you think you are? A full-grown rat? What are you doing over here? Defending his horseshoe. Oh, I heard something else. I'm gonna eat a cheese in a little bit. Just to spite these rats. I'm pretty sure they don't like cheese, though. They're nasty rats. Nasty rats don't like cheese. That's not to say that people who don't like cheese are nasty. But generally speaking... Nasty people don't like cheese. So if you'd like if you like cheese, you're not nasty. That's that's just how it goes. That's a a, 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 a law. A law of life and, and a rule. So we have places that we haven't been to though. So I do want to go there. And I'm pretty sure we were here. I hear I hear you. I'll absorb your life, mister. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Your life is very well appreciated. <laughs> okay. There's another one. Can't actually see him. Is it that big? Well, anyway, we're here. Let's go in there, and then we'll go into the other uh, dungeon after we come out. Rock shelter. So, this one... If I am not mistaken, which I probably am, was the one that was, that had like a cave-in and that they, maybe, oh, I remember this one, ooh, interesting, let's go up. Because this is a look back. Now, there shouldn't be anybody in here. <laughs> the rest of my crap and uh, all the things that I dropped. <laughs> oh, boy. And, of course, we've explored all of this, so... It's just going back over here, which is great. But I don't know how the game works. That is not... You stop that, you! Just a scratch. No, it's many steps. Oh, there we go! I thought he was gonna kill me. I didn't know what that was gonna be. Uh, yeah. So this is the this is a bounty. Yeah, I wait a minute. Receive. Yeah, it is a bounty. So that's why he was here alone. Mhm. Mm Fine leather. I'll take those and a blueprint for a small backpack. I don't need that. What I do need is a place to rest. Or cheese. Both will work. I suppose there might be a place to rest up here. Man, this place is confusing. I'm just gonna eat the cheese. I think that's just for the better, really. Consumables! There we go. Oh, pumpkin. Sure. I'll eat some pumpkin. 
Who doesn't like some pumpkin? Actually, I'm not a big fan. I know that pumpkin... Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's things. There's good things around here that I dropped. Because I didn't have room. And carrots. Oh, and green apples. I have so many things. And beef. Rabbit's feet. Oh, no. And potatoes. Oh, my God. I'm a terrible person. Oh, and look at that. Cabbages. <laughs> People... <laughs> People just come around and are like, what a, what in the world? What is this? What a, what happened? What what's what's going on? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway, uh we are out of time for the day. So uh, I'm gonna eat another few apples off camera and uh, we're gonna explore explore that uh, dungeon that we didn't see yet on the other side of the lake. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Enderall. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.